into a little one-on-one. -on -one. value absolutely free. The Brinks Home Security System. Because a house is not a home until it's safe. When it comes to security for your home, there's only one Brinks. Unexpected weather can really mess up your day. And preparing people for it is our business. Business is good. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Stormwatch, sponsored by Home Depot. And the first part of Stormwatch is Tropical Update. And we have a very busy uh, tropic uh, situation in the Atlantic Basin. Just two weeks ago, not much going on, and it's making up for it right now. Several things going on. Here's the remnants of Charlie, still creating a horrible flooding situation out around Del Rio, Texas. Here's Hurricane Bonnie moving north-northwest toward the Carolina coastline. Here's a area of disturbed weather south of Cuba and Hispaniola that could increase in intensity if it misses this land and gets out of the outflow from Bonnie. And we have Tropical Storm Danielle on the heels of all of that. So let's get right to business, give you an idea if you track these storms and where they're situated. Currently, the center of circulation per Hurricane Bonnie is centered at 28.8 north, 74.3 west, 450 miles south of Cape Hatteras, winds 115 miles per hour, moving north-northwest at 11. Barometric pressure about what it was yesterday at this time, 963 millibars. Now, this is the area of the greatest strike potential, meaning that the center of the hurricane would move within 60 nautical miles of some point within that area shaded in the red. Note, though, that the strike probability has been increased to the north uh, along the eastern seaboard, and hurricane warnings have been increased, uh, or the hurricane watches have been increased to Cape Henlopen, Delaware, and that includes the Chesapeake Bay area. Meanwhile, the hurricane warning is in effect for the North Carolina-Virginia border southward to Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, and a watch still towards Savannah, Georgia. Hurricane winds extend out 145 miles to the east-northeast of this system, and tropical storm force winds extend outward about 190 miles. Very heavy surf advisory, Heavy surf advisory for Savannah, Georgia to Jupiter Inlet, Florida. Seas out here at some of the buoys, uh, frying pan shoals, indicating seas to some 18 feet, 18 feet off the Florida coast too. That means we could see some beach erosion problems even in Florida from the impact of Bonnie churning up the waves out here. Outflow just beginning to be felt over North Carolina or seen in the way of high cirrus clouds, but the rain bands can be can be seen now on radar out of the uh, Moorhead City radar, and although it's shooting up, we're looking at rain probably about 160 miles from the coast. Meanwhile, this impulse, pretty close to land right now, showing no signs of development yet, but could impact the Gulf Coast over time. This is Tropical Storm Danielle, looking pretty impressive right now, isn't it? This could become a hurricane in a short period of time. Currently, it's centered at 15.7 north and 42.4 west, 1,200 miles 
east of the Lesser Antilles. That means it's a couple of days away. Winds at 50 miles per hour, moving pretty fast at west-northwest, 21 miles per hour, 1,000 millibars as the millibars, the pressure has dropped. Nothing new to report off of the African coast, however, and big flooding problems from the old tropical storm remnants of Charlie. Stay with us. Full briefing coming up for you with Hurricane Bonnie and current evacuations next. Hurricane warnings put residents of the southeast coast on guard as they brace for Hurricane Bonnie. We'll have a live update plus your weather next on Weather Center. This program was sponsored by the Home Depot. We have the how-to clinics uh, where we show the customer how to do the project themselves. After doing it for the first time, they feel a lot more comfortable with it. They get involved, they get pumped, they take notes, they come to the Home Depot, they get the product, they're taught how to do it, and they go home and they do it and they're like, wow, I did it and the Home Depot showed me how. Protect your home and sensitive electronics with a circuit breaker and surge arrestor from Siemens & Murray. It's available at the guaranteed low price every day. Start your tropical update looking at Hurricane Bonnie. This is the 11 a.m. advisory from the Hurricane Center. Center of circulation, 29.5 north, 75.2 west. That's about 340 miles to the south of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Still packing winds of 115 miles an hour, making this a Category 3 on the Saffir Simpson scale, capable of quite a bit of damage as it approaches the coast. Movement sped up a little bit, 16 miles an hour now, and the pressure holding right around 963, 964 millibars. So the most important thing that we can tell you about this hurricane this morning is that it continues on a northwesterly track and it has sped up. It's uh, now moving up to the northwest at 16 miles an hour and you can see the motion of the clouds around the center of circulation here. Thicker clouds continue to approach the coast. So those of you on the coasts of South and North Carolina, now is the time to rush your Hurricane preparations to completion, and already uh, people are being urged to evacuate the Outer Banks, parts of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Hurricane warnings presently in effect from Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, up to the North Carolina-Virginia border, and that does include the sounds of eastern North Carolina. Farther south to Savannah and up the coast to Cape Henlope in Delaware, we do have hurricane watches. Greatest strike probabilities continue to be over here in eastern North Carolina. From Wilmington to Hatteras here, this is uh, where we're most concerned about the center of circulation making a landfall and helping to produce a storm surge. And as you recall, with the storms coming up from the south, flow coming around from the east, the sounds of eastern North Carolina will have all that water being pushed off to the west. So places like New Bern and Washington are in for a lot of trouble if the storm does track up just to the west. And all these areas, very low-lying areas, swamp area, so it won't take much to get flooding here throughout a good portion of eastern North Carolina. Here's the wind field around the storm. Hurricane force winds in the orange. It's a large storm. We could be looking at tropical storm force winds making it to the coast by tonight on the North Carolina shores here. And by tomorrow morning, these hurricane force winds could be coming into the coast if the storm uh, moves on its northwesterly track at this present rate of speed. Farther south and farther north, already big breakers coming on in. 
so heavy surf advisories are in effect. And here's a couple of tips for you. When a hurricane warning is issued, prepare for possible evacuation. Call or contact a person outside your area and report your plans and collect your disaster supplies kit. And in case of evacuation, obey advisories promptly, turn off your electricity and water utilities, lock your windows and doors, and follow recommended evacuation routes. Now, aside from Hurricane Bonnie, we're now concerned about Hurricane Danielle. It has uh, picked up intensity overnight. We can see an eye on the satellite picture. Winds 80 miles an hour. It's moving west-northwest, but it is forecast to turn more westerly with time. So those of you watching from Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, you certainly want to keep close tabs on this system because if it does start to turn more off towards the west, there may be the need for hurricane watches in this area around Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And there in the satellite, you can see the eye on Danielle. It is a compact storm, a small storm, but it does have winds estimated at 80 miles an hour. So here it is in relation to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And with this uh, moving off towards the west northwest, this could eventually threaten the islands in a couple of days. Now in the Caribbean, we've been watching an area of disturbed weather the past several days. It's had a hard time developing because of the outflow from Bonnie. But once this moves farther west, it will get into a more favorable environment for development. So those of you watching from the Gulf Coast, this may be something to be concerned about as we head towards the weekend. Lastly, here in the Atlantic, not much coming off the African coast. While in the Pacific, Hurricane Howard continues to be a monstrous storm with winds 145 miles an hour, but it's moving away. This is meteorologist Bill Keneally. We're in Carolina Beach, North Carolina, tracking the progress of Hurricane Bonnie. Stay with us for a full report on Weather Center after your local forecast. Is Iams good for life? Well, research suggests cats can lower your blood pressure and help their owners live longer, healthier lives. In return, help your cat live a long, healthy life. The wholesome ingredients in Iams are more digestible, so more nutrition stays in your cat, and cats love the taste. I'm Scat Foods.